Hey guys, this is Richard at Reefs.com. Thank you for joining us for this video in Reefapalooza Orlando 2024. And I'm here in Coral View's booth with my good friend Carlos. Carlos, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Good to see you Seems again, Seems like friend. you keep coming around. <laughs> we keep giving you uh, reasons to come over. Absolutely. You know what, this is actually my third time just coming to this booth, but every single time this booth was so crowded, yes. I had to just go around and around, and then finally, I was able to catch him while he was about to have his lunch. <laughs> so, that worked out for me and not so much for him. Uh, hey, I'm here to help. <laughs> but we have this very exciting announcement from Coral View, and Carlos has been telling me to come by and check it out. Yes, so what is this product, Carlos? It's the Maven, and it's a wow. testing machine that we've been working for a while. I yes. bet you didn't know anything about it, didn't you? We had it pretty quiet. You know, you know, I was very surprised because usually I hear something on the grapevine here and there, especially because we, I think we spoke maybe two weeks before this announcement. So I, you, did, you guys did very good. Yes, yes. <laughs> so it's a testing machine. First of all, it is 100% a standalone machine too. Okay. So it's a controller. You don't need to purchase. For those of you that are familiar with the Hydros world, right? we have the X4, we have the launch now, we have the Minute, we have the X10. Yeah. But we don't need an X10. I don't need an X4. I can actually just put this on my tank yeah. and it'll give me testing. In okay. addition to that, we have a couple of drive ports right here. So I can put a little two of the 40 milliliter dosing pumps and I can right. dose calcium and alkalinity based on that. Right. You know, and then I have a couple of sensors right here. So I can do a uh, water level or maybe I just want to do temperature. And here, maybe I want to do a leak detector. Or like maybe even an ATO? An ATO. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. So you keep it very, very, very simple. Gotcha. Okay. So this in itself practically is, like, like, like you said, it's a standalone unit, but also not only for the tester, but for other stuff as well. Yes. And then this, yes. I mean, I see the command belt line here, I guess, so this could also power other hydro equipment. So people ask, it's okay, so I'm reading this, I'm getting the readings, so how do I dose? Okay. So you can do it with the 40 milliliter doser. Yeah. Or you can do it by the command bus port and connecting to an X10. Okay. Or you can do it with the minnow now that we have. Yeah. Or you can do it on XP8 and then you have your own doser. Right. Then you can just, the XP8 will turn it on yeah. and turn it off based, as long as we know what the flow rate of that doser is, yeah. we can pretty much say, okay, 60 milliliters, okay, I'll run it for one sec for one minute and I'm done and I'll shut it up. So there's multiple ways, as they say, multiple ways to skin a cat. Right. So I, I'm, I'm looking at these are all the reagents that goes into this? Yeah, right? Not into it. They, well, they I mean, use it. Yes, right. they use it. So the reagents right here, you can see them. Now the way we put them is we put them out here so everybody could see what, what, what we're using. Right. But when we release it, we're probably going to release some kind of uh, holding container, acrylic with nice um, um, cable management so it looks right. nice but for, for our purposes right now we wanted to show it this way so that people can see what's going on. As right. you can see everything in here is color coded. Right. You know, that's the one thing about hydros from the very very beginning everything right. has been color coded so that everybody finds it easy. So right. this right here white, purple and also so you cannot make a mistake. Right. The great thing about this which I, I think is, is, is one thing that people tend to miss a little bit I yeah. think is there's little lure lock connectors. Look oh. at this. I oh, can actually, okay, okay, okay. and I'm not going to do that one right now because it's being tested right yeah. now. So I'm not, but uh, let's, let's grab this one right here. Look at this. So all I have to do is twist and pull. Twist and pull. That's it. I'm not going to do it because this guy, it's, 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 I don't know. Got to spring a leak or something. Oh, no, it's alkaline, so it's fine. So all I got to do is this. Look. That's it. And then you go here, you put it in, you twist, and it locks, and you have that. On top of that, right here too, twist and pull. Yeah. And on top, inside, I'm gonna do this. Same thing. Look at that. So it's not just two lines with a little elbow. Right. No, we make it. We want it to. Yeah. I always say, the beauty about and, I, and I, this is where it's the beauty of being number two mm -hmm. is you get to see what number one and the others have done, or the the beauty of the, being the follower sometimes. Mm -hmm. The advantage is that you get to see what everybody else did. And try and to improve, make, improve upon improve it. On, improve upon it. So yeah. just being the second one doesn't always mean bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Right. This test, this uh, reagents, a hundred tests. Okay. Hundred tests. Hundred tests. Okay. I mean, obviously these are more because I mean these you see the bigger bottles because you will test more. You use right? Yeah, no, no, not, not technically. That's it's, they, all the bottles in here will give you a hundred, a hundred tests. Okay. It's just the amount of reagent that you need per test. It's gotcha. going to be a little bit more here. And Makes less sense. in here. Now, the great thing about it also is that every test here, aside, aside from alkalinity, every test here is going to be using at the same ratio. 
Okay. So you're not going to end up with 50 milliliters left of this one and yeah. only five of this. And gotcha. then you get stuck with the, with the, what is it? Is it seven buns, six hot dogs? You know, we don't want we don't want that. So yeah. we're gonna leave that. We're gonna make sure that that doesn't happen. Yeah. Uh, Hundred milliliters. The one transparency. Uh, once you crack that bottle open, yeah. There's a shelf life. There's right. an expiration date. So as with all things, yes. that, it, once it comes to with o contact with oxygen, that's gonna happen. Exactly. But yeah. what we're not gonna do, we're not gonna do is when you test alkalinity. Yeah. We're not gonna make you have to test every single one of them. You can test them at any schedule you want. I'll give you an example. You're gonna have four times a day. Right. Once a week. Yeah. Once a day, mm -hmm. once a day. Once a day, once a day. Yeah. So you can you can schedule it however you want. Right. Another great thing about this machine that people don't know, and it's, I'm, we're emphasizing, trying to educate people, is that there is a an air pump inside. Most people don't think, it's like, why do you need an air pump? The reason why is because after every test, we take, we rinse the lines right. with salt water. Okay. Then we rinse them with RODI. Yeah. And then we use that air pump to blow to flush them out. it out. Got it. Got it. So what does that do? Inside the unit where the pinch valves and all the lines are there, they're clean. There is no crystals. reagent yeah. crystals and everything yeah. that eventually clog up. Right. So then you don't have to send the unit in for maintenance after a year yeah. because. There's nothing wrong with the pumps. There's nothing wrong with the mechanical. Right. But the lines, the crystals in the line have gotten to the point that it's clogged up. Right. So we prevent that from happening. In addition to that, mm -hmm. you know, I sound like the ShamWow guy. And there's more. There's more, and right? There's more. <laughs> okay. In addition to that is after, during the test, we will blow air back into the reagent bottle. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Gotcha. So we clean the line right, by right, blowing right. it. Yeah. But then also what it does is when you blow air, you're agitating the reagent. Right, right, so it doesn't settle to the bottom. So it doesn't right. settle to the bottom. So we're that agitating the reagent. And right. Like, so we could have come up with a contraption that had mechanical pumps in there, but if the reagent spills, yeah. the motor goes bad, yeah. and everything else, and it's more expensive. Why right. not just use air to agitate, and that's way cheaper. Yeah, and then one thing that really caught my attention was that how this thing just comes apart so easy. So what I'm gonna do is, you wanna get closer? Get the camera to come in closer, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this right here. I'm gonna grab it with one. Uh, I saw this earlier, and I thought this was so I'm cool. Not, I'm not a lefty, so the angle I had to use both hands. I'm right hand, so that's it. Now the cuvee is right here, okay? And this is all... where the water is changed. Now notice here, this is the magnet for the the stirring magnet, and there's a little pill inside. Mm -hmm. There's the electrical eye mm -hmm. that goes and reads right here. But what happens when this cuvee right here, this container, overflows? Which statistically, let's be, let's Murphy's law. Right. If I tell you it's never going to overflow, I'm it's lying gonna, to It's going to happen. I am lying to you. Yeah. So it's going to happen. Right. But when it happens, it's going to be running it right outside and not inside the circuits. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. When I'm done. Now the great thing about it is that also I'm going to put this back. So I'm going to put this back with. I mean, I'm not left-handed, so it's going to do. And I'm just going to do it. And yeah. And done. So I'm gonna grab this one at the top right here because it's a lot easier. An example. Take a look at this. So here's the same cuvee. Backwards right here. I'm gonna grab that. And it's gonna come out this way. And here's what I'm gonna do. And then I can just pull it out. And I'm done. I'm done. That's it. I'm done. I replace it. I clean it up because it's after the reagent with the colors, it kind of starts to lose color or right, clarity. Right. right. You know I just replace it, I'm done. Lure lock. Yeah. Right here at the bottom. Twist. Just twist and lock it. Yeah. Put it back in there and I'm done. Probably right. what? A minute. Yeah. A minute max. That's so awesome. serviceability was huge. And right. we were trying to figure out, I mean, that was the hardest thing, and that's what took us the longest time, is to figure out how to do it in a way that would be serviceable yeah. and easy. Also, Inside, yeah, six screws. Mm -hmm. You pull it out, the PCB board comes out with it, and that it comes out, and that exposes all the pinch valves and everything. Now, you think how small many pinch valves in there? Uh, there's six or seven. There's uh, nine. Oh right? wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So then, what you do is okay, nine pinch valves, uh, dosing pump, and an air pump, and you're thinking it's like okay, how am I going to get my hands in there because it's pretty tight. Yeah. There's a metal bracket, one screw at the top, one screw at the bottom. You undo yeah. the metal bracket pull the entire metal brace and now everything comes out and you have access, you can work on a table and everything, change it up, put it back together and you're done.
We will have a service kit yeah. that you can purchase. I was about to ask about that. You can purchase. Right. But also, if you're a DIYer, if you like to be tinkering and everything, then you can actually buy that kit or you can send it in. No, I like it. This is a really well thought out machine. I like that. As I mentioned before, yeah. you know, you don't have to you don't have to service the machines as much because right. we rinse it with salt water, we rinse it with fresh RDI water, and then yeah. you blow out. So the again, the crystals don't get there, the lines don't get clogged up. Yeah. So it's not it doesn't require as much service as other machines do. So, Carlos, tell me, when is this product coming out and how much would this uh, product cost? Okay, so we are hoping that it will be ready for Black Friday. Okay. So, oh, hey, okay. you get this gift going in there, you're right. going to get that Black Friday. Um, in terms of pricing, we're thinking about $1,200. Gotcha. So it's, but again, it has five things at once. You know, so you're getting a big machine with a controller, yeah. self you know, self uh, sustaining unit. Self sustaining unit, and it's, it's going to be 1200 bucks. Um, as far as the reagents, and I get that question all the time today, yeah. is as far as the reagents, we're still kind of trying to figure out what the price is going to be. Yeah. But what we can tell you is they're going to be very, very reasonable. Mm -hmm. They're going to be reasonable. So we're not going to be overcharging. I don't think we're going to be doing that. Because yeah. that's not... We Hydros has been around for five years. And I think you kind of know, you kind of know us how we work and yeah. what we do. So we're not gonna, we're not about to change the way we do it, things and the yeah. way we charge and pricing just because we have a machine like this that almost everybody wants. I mean this this has been an incredible incredible show because everybody's coming in here. It's like where can I get it? All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching this video, Carlos. Thank you so much for taking your time and explaining this new amazing product from Coralview, yeah. and I look forward to seeing this out and having it in my hand and just testing it out and just geeking all over it. Thank you so much. Once again, Carlos, and thank, thank you, you so much. much for watching this video, guys. Thanks for having me. Have a good day, guys. Thank you.